Hi everyone, my name's Scott McNaught. I made this bouquet earlier. It's gross. It's mostly dead, it's got ethernet cables hanging out of it, and I think there's a spider in there. Point is, I know nothing about flowers, but I know a few things about digital marketing. For the last three years, we've been helping florists get on top of their digital marketing, and we wanted to make this video to share what we've learned. When we started, most florists didn't want to hear about digital marketing. It was basically an afterthought. But online flower purchases are growing every year, and having a great digital marketing strategy is now more important than ever. So here are six digital marketing tips that every florist can use. As a florist, you need to be on both Instagram and Pinterest. This is a no-brainer. Florists have a huge advantage over most other businesses on these social media platforms because your product is so visual. Instagram and Pinterest are both primarily image-based, so they really allow you to display your merchandise. On top of this, the demographics are also perfect. Between 70 to 80% of all flower purchases are made by women, and both of these platforms are mostly used by women. One of the best ways to get started is to draw inspiration from some of the best floral Instagram and Pinterest pages already out there. We've put our own list below, but if you find some more, feel free to share them in the comments. Okay, so this doesn't seem like a digital marketing tip, but it absolutely is. Improving your photography skills might be the most important thing you can do for your digital marketing as a florist. You probably don't have the budget to be hiring a professional photographer every time you want to display a new product on your catalog. And stock images aren't going to cut it to show off your talent and your passion. If you haven't already, consider picking up a lighting tent to help you get a level of consistency to your snaps. You can find them on eBay starting around $15. These days with phone cameras being as powerful as they are, you can probably get some really great floral photography without having to invest in a high-end camera. And that option's always there if you're unhappy with the quality that you're getting from your phone. When it comes to search engines, the most important thing for a florist is ranking in the local listings. And in this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about ranking in the Google 3-pack. The Google 3-pack refers to this section here. Basically, whenever Google is using location-based data to fulfill a search, it will bring in a three pack of relevant businesses in a specific area. To rank in the three pack, you need the following. Firstly, make sure that you have a Google My Business account. This is the profile that will appear in the three pack itself. And then make sure that the information on that account is up to date. It's really important that you fill out as much information as you possibly can, because if you're missing important attributes like your business opening hours, then Google may penalize you for this in the rankings. Make sure you're getting reviews from your customers. In a recent Zendesk survey, 90% of consumers said that reviews affected their purchasing decisions. You can encourage your customers to leave a review by sending an email after any online purchase with a link straight to your Google My Business page. But don't forget to monitor these reviews to make sure that the good work you're doing is being reflected. If someone makes a legitimate complaint in a review, don't just ignore it, respond to it, and take steps to rectify it if possible. Try to make sure that everything you put online contains references to your location. Use location tags in your social media posts, your blogs. Use photos on Google that demonstrate exactly where your storefront is. All of this will really help Google direct people to your physical location through search. Your website needs to be an extension of your physical store. There's no point in curating a beautiful business location and then your first point of contact with most of your potential customers is a disappointing website. Customers will go elsewhere for a better web experience before they even get a chance to see how nice your store is. Having a great website is also gonna help you rank better on Google. But the merits of having a good website can be a little bit subjective. So you might wanna ask yourself the following questions. Is my website quick to load? Does it display correctly on desktop, mobile, and tablets? Is it easy to navigate? And is the information up to date with all of your latest services and products? And probably the most important one is, are you proud of it? If you're not sure how to answer some of these questions, another option is just to Google other florists in your area and see how your own site stacks up. If you want any sort of visibility online, 
you need to put effort into driving traffic to your site. And creating quality content is the best way to do that. The good news is that as a florist, your content is supposed to be mostly visual. This means that you can take your Instagram and Pinterest posts and easily repurpose them into a blog article. Maybe take all of your posts that have included roses and write a short article to demonstrate your knowledge about that particular flower. Also, remember when a customer asks you for a piece of advice and you deliver, chances are there's other customers wondering the exact same thing. So why not take that question and turn that into a blog post? Every year, more and more flower purchases occur online, and this trend doesn't show any sign of slowing. This actually represents a huge opportunity for florists. For example, by collecting a little bit of extra data about your customers' purchasing trends, you can use digital marketing to really boost your annual revenue. One good example of this is flowers that are bought for a special occasion, like an anniversary. If you can collect that information from a customer through a simple online form, you can send a message to the customer every year in the lead up to the same date. It ensures that a bouquet of your flowers will be the first idea in their mind when they're trying to find a gift and allows you to offer special promotions to entice them to use your service a second year in a row. And how cool would it be if your customer got a message that said, you bought your partner a bouquet of half a dozen roses last year? Outdo yourself with a bouquet of a full dozen this year for the exact same price. Another way to harness the power of online is to include some type of automatic delivery confirmation email into your service. By letting customers know that they can opt in to receive an automatic text or email upon delivery of their order, you can give your customers peace of mind when they're sending flowers to someone online. Hopefully now you're feeling a bit more confident about the world of digital marketing. If you're a florist and you have a question that we didn't answer, feel free to ask in the comments. Or check out our site if you'd like to learn more about how the Synergy 8 platform can help you with your digital marketing goals. Thanks for watching.